Hello and welcome back to All Things Money. I'm your host, David Blaine. During the second segment of today's show, we're going to continue talking about uh, overconfidence in investing and how investing should not necessarily be exciting, it should be boring, and that some of the accumulated wisdom over the past 50 years of, of people on the academic and research side of investing, not the Wall Street side, you know, there's tremendous body of knowledge that points to reasonable methods of constructing a portfolio to accomplish your goals, things like asset allocation, diversification, um, you know, risk, discipline, these type of things. And as I was saying in the first segment, despite all the accumulated wisdom, this, people still tend to look at as investing as something that needs to be exciting or picking stocks or you know, following the news and, and trying to get some edge on everyone else. And the reality is it's just shown that it's just not possible and that there's literally trillions of dollars spent every year in this, this pursuit uh, around the world. Um, so our, our approach is to largely ignore a lot of that information. We'll get into that in a minute. I want to finish up on just saying that this is a result. It's a human nature thing. It's born out of overconfidence. You've probably heard the studies of drivers. You know, they interview drivers and they say, would you classify yourself as above average? And something like 95% of drivers classify themselves as an above average driver. And it's very typical. People, all types of surveys that you ask them. I, I mentioned a survey of, of CEOs of large companies. Just a complete and utter failure of the ability to even pick the direction of the stock market, let alone the, the level of the stock market. And so we, it's just been documented this overconfidence bias. And so what can you do to combat it? Well, of course, we're in the investment industry, so our number one choice for people is to hire somebody to help you. Um, you know, short of that and short of hoping that human nature will somehow change, uh, there are some people that are able to do it, and we see it, people that are, you know, very calm and disciplined and uh, things. That's why I think I make a good investment advisor, why my firm is the discipline I, I learned you know, at West Point and through my years in the military, calm, you know, nobody's shooting at me in the investment world. It's very easy for me to remain calm, focus on the end result. You know, in the military, you focus on the mission. You know, here we're focusing on people's goals. And so it's, it comes sort of naturally to me. A lot of other people, that's just not their thing. Whether they have knowledge or not, investing, a lot of it's about temperament and having sort of an even temperament you know, the market's going up, the market's going down. Just keeping your temperament even. Focused on your goals. Stay away from the short term. <clears throat> you know, I set long-term goals both for myself personally as well as for my company. I stay focused on those. That's what it takes to be a good investor. And so many people are focused on the short term. So short of hiring an advisor, okay, if, if you don't have the temperament, I recommend you hire an advisor. If you don't, uh, want to do that for whatever reason, um, and I, I recommend this sort of begrudgingly, but if you're going to do it, take a, the majority of your money and put it into a rationally designed investment plan. Don't look at it. Don't, well, I shouldn't say don't look at it, but don't trade it excessively. Don't fret over it. And then take a small portion of your money and go try to find the next Apple or Google or, or whatever. But don't do it with your entire, don't day trade your 401k. Um, okay, so this kind of leads into the second topic that I wanted to talk about today, which is what is the role of an investment advisor? I mean, it's been well documented that both uh, individual investors severely underperform the market. Most of them don't have the temperament to invest. Most of them either don't have the knowledge or if they have the knowledge, they don't have the temperament uh, to invest properly for their future. It's also well documented that the majority of active fund managers on Wall Street also do not outperform the, the, um, the, the indexes. Well, there's a group of people that I happen to be part of them that are professional investment advisors, professional wealth planners, professional 
um, financial planners that go by different names that are they're generally compensated by fees. There are some possibly commission-based brokers out there that, that operate in the manner that I'm talking about, but that acknowledge the efficiencies of the market and construct portfolios based on time-honored principles, principles that allow people to slowly accumulate massive sums of money over long periods of time. And these investment advisors, you know, wealth advisors, uh, follow certain principles that are um, available to individuals. And one of them is not picking stocks. I mean, that's one of the things as people come in, despite our website, despite me making shows like this, articles, everything, sometimes people still come in the office and they want to talk about picking stocks. And, you know, I, I calmly explain to them that, you know, your investing success should not be dependent on someone being able to pick stocks. It's just statistically a really bad way to try to grow your savings. And that it's not um, exciting. Uh, it's, you know, largely a revolves around your goals, setting policies and plans and things like that. And so if you're not going to do it yourself and you're looking for an investment advisor, I want to talk about what the role of a good advisor is. And, and what it's not. It's not picking stocks. It's not knowing, you know, the inflation rate in Bangladesh and how that impacts your portfolio. Well, we'll come back our, in our final segment. We'll continue talking about what the true role of an investment advisor should be.